Welcome to Jacksonville, Alabama, a hidden gem a few miles from the border of Georgia and home to the Gamecocks of Jacksonville State, where these fans are fired up for this showdown about to play out on Burgess Snowfield. Today, we have a big Conference USA showdown in store. As we'll see, the New Mexico State Aggies taking on the Jacksonville State Gamecocks. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. The Gamecocks will put total weather to crank us up. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. So the New Mexico State Aggies offense will have the first possession of the game. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. Really nice job by quarterback and wide receiver. This is why you do film work. This is why you throw on air all offseason. I know I get zone coverage. I know exactly where I'm breaking. I know exactly where to deliver the football. Nice throw, nice catch. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. Quick pass on the fly motion. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. I like offenses being creative. I'm not sure if that was the best place to call that play. I think this offense needs to think about just doing things a little bit more by the book. They've got a lot of good playmakers. You don't have to reinvent the wheel this early in the game. Running back searching for a hole. Stuffed almost in his track, but strong enough to pick up one to the 35. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. A third and long coming up here. Dropping back, it's Hogan. Got the back over the middle. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. They've done a really good job identifying mismatches, and they find one out of the backfield there. Reese, I really don't think it's that hard. My guy is better than yours. Find the matchup across the field. Running back's got some speed. Get it in his hands quickly. Throw it to him fast. Let him make somebody miss against a slower guy that's usually a linebacker. And the Aggies are flying down the field. Using his legs, it's Watkins. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Off play action. Fires to the wide out. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. New Mexico State to the line after picking up the first down. Power football with the run. They get him off his feet after a pickup of five down to the 25. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Back to throw, it's Hogan. Finds his tight end. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Nice job by the people at State. Getting him on the ground as soon as he catches the football. Knowing he's a threat, I'm not going to let this guy get out of my sights. Nice job by the people. Eighth play on this opening drive coming up, and they need a third down conversion. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. 
And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. I think throughout the week in practice, when they were game planning their opening script, I don't even know if they envisioned it going as well as it has. This has been beautiful. Nice balance, really nice rhythm. It feels like everything they're dialing up here on their first drive of the game is working to perfection. Now from inside the red zone. Got a man. It's Weber. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. I like the idea by the quarterback there. You're trying to get this first down, so you find the tight end. See if he can make a guy miss or shake a tackle. Not able to get it done. There. And now on second down for this offense. They're going to run it. Got enough space. He'll get that one all the way down to the four-yard line before he stopped. When you go on the road, man, oh, man, do you love hearing the crowd. But more importantly, you love shutting the crowd up. There's no better feeling than coming out, getting that juice going, getting that confidence going, and getting that running game going right at them and gashing them right out the gates. Turning to the running game on first and goal. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Brings up second angle. Second and goal coming up. Quick touch pass to the receiver. He had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. You got to fight fire with fire. You got to fight speed with speed. There's a receiver with the ball out in the open field trying to get in the corner, but a cornerback with the same type of speed and athleticism able to make the tackle. Nice job. They'll run it here on third and goal. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Aggies! And they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back to open this game. Great job in the open field. He's got tremendous vision. He can make people miss. You saw all of that on display here in the opening drive. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. That is what they mean when they say ball control. A 14-play touchdown drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. Just about set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So Jacksonville State's offense will take the field for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. Got it in the middle. It's Cuber. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. You know, So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Offense gets set for second down. To the air, it's Turner. Unloads to the right. A strike downfield. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Love the accuracy on that curl throw by the quarterback, putting it right in the numbers, right in the bread basket of his wide receiver. Ball spotted at the 29. Here they come on third and short. They'll try to bully their way for the first. Nice job to get it past the sticks, and they get him down at the 35. 
This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. And the Gamecocks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Trying to get the edge on the right. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It seems so inviting to try to get the ball outside, but this defense is so fast, you just end up running sideways. And when you don't have any misdirection or something else to look at before you pitch that ball on the perimeter, a lot of times those guys can play even faster. They can see it right now. Those safeties fly up, those corners fly up, outside backers fly up, and get in the play immediately. Little touch pass to the receiver. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. And I love right out of the gate, this offense is going to be creative, and they're going to try to get their best players the football out in the open field. You saw it right there. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. And they gave him no chance to get loose, and they force a fourth down. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. They'll get down and put a stop for the return at about the 28-yard line. The Aggies offense will have another go at it. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. Now from the 48-yard line, it's first and 10. They move the tight end all over. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. He's got him wide open. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. A big game there as they did a tremendous job working the middle of the field. Yeah, and if you're going to complete that throw, Reese, quarterbacks have got to play with anticipation. You've got to get it out of your hands early and give your receiver an opportunity before the defense gets to the ball. Movement here from the tight end. Give to the back. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. When running backs square their shoulders up, it's when they have the most power. You see him square his shoulders up, break tackles, be strong, continue to plow his way forward, just making it really easy on everybody in this offense by breaking tackles. They go right back to it. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Stopping the run is very high on every defensive coordinator's list. Making the team one-dimensional. Nice job stuffing the run on that play right there. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. Direct snap. They got him on the ground, but not before he gives New Mexico State a first down. And I just love when guys know exactly where the sticks are. You could tell, ran with purpose, finished through the sticks, and got just enough for the first down. And a nice job up front, too, right? Good communication. Everybody knew where they had to go. Hat on a hat, work the double teams, and get some push. They'll switch it up here and look to throw. He got it. I love the anticipation on that throw by the QB on the out route. you got to throw it before the receiver comes out of his break. Nice work. Looking for just one more yard. It's second and goal. He'll try to slam it in. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Aggie! Man, did he show some pops for that one. 
That's some serious vertical right there. I tell you what, everybody in front of you, hey, I'll go by air if I need to. Good job getting in the air, getting the touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 14-0. They marched 72 yards, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Set to kick this one away. Bringing it back. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Guys, we'll see what Jacksonville State can get going on O. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. They'll go to the ground. And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. But with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front. But they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. Wants to throw on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Spector. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. Big play in the passing game there, and I like the receiver gearing down in the zone. Did a nice job finding the soft spot on defense between the defenders, giving the quarterback an easy target to throw to to complete that throw. The Gamecocks getting set on first and ten. He'll do it himself. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. I just love the individual one-on-one -on -one effort by the defense there. Offense trying to go option. QB keeps it, but just too many defenders winning their one-on-one -on -one battles, defeating blocks, and getting the tackle for loss. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. The give out of the gun. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited, and the fans aren't going crazy, but those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. They'll try to pop the draw. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. Yeah, and that's a really good job by the defense because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing both, got it stopped, now forcing a fourth down. And the Gamecocks decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the return man will have no chance as the ball sails out of bounds. Personal, Personal foul. Nothing to kick the kicker. Defense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. They'll leave it with him. Nice move to keep running. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. He'll pull it on the read. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Nice job playing assignment football by that defensive end. Knowing what my job is, not letting that quarterback get out, get loose, making a good play, and most importantly, being there in the right spot and getting him on the ground. Already in chip shot field goal range at the 21, but this third and short, they're still thinking touchdown. Pulls it on the bootleg fake. 
It falls incomplete, and that'll do it for the quarter. Both teams made no secret they wanted to target their big play receivers, and they've done just that in the first. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period and they try to find a way to answer. Oh, the kicker's on the run. And I guess they thought they'd find the field goal block team napping. They were wide awake and they come up with the stop. It's nice to be a riverboat gambler and all, but man, oh man, when it goes against you, it can be ugly. Really nice, patient job to find some running room by this junior. They'll put it in play from the 41 on first down. They're getting this guy lathered up. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. At the 46-yard line. Second down. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Quick release on the RPO. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. How about this offense? They're rolling. They got a couple first downs together. Defense. Next, what's your response? What do you got? You got to make some adjustments here. Now it's first and 10 from the 46-yard line. Here's the handoff. And a good, solid pickup there before the defense knocks him down. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and short. Looking to throw, it's Hogan. They're working that left side. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. My goodness, this offense has got it rolled. They might put up a 50 burn. This defense, they don't have any answers right now. They're going to have to figure something out. That's a first down for the offense. The Aggies will line it up on first and 10. Complete downfield. Touchdown, New Mexico State. Hauled it in and just kept right on running to the hallelujah land. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they covered the final 29 yards with that touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. Jacksonville State has it back in the game. Cox will go to work. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession. Again, the offense is going to have to score. And Jesse probably scored pretty quick. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. The inside handoff. 
just couldn't get away from the tackle. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. The Gamecocks racing to the line in the hurry up. They'll keep it on the ground. A collision, and he stopped at the 27 after picking up one. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. Looking for a man. It's Turner. Finds his back in the middle. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. And the Gamecocks send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll wave for the fair catch and haul it in at the 25. The New Mexico State offense returns to the field. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect it. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out, everybody right now, on the same page. Lost five on that first play, and now it's second and 15. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. And I know it's not a first down, uh, but I still like the way they, they ran the football here. Just try to make the next third down manageable, try to get it where it's not as predictable. I think the offense did a really good job being smart there, taking what the defense gave It'll take some work to get to the sticks. It's third and long from the 30. Pocket starts to collapse. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. Well, obviously, at this point in the first half, the defense is finding themselves in a hole, and you just get the feeling if they're going to get back in this, they're going to need more plays like that. They're going to need sacks. They're going to need turnovers. They're going to have to create negative plays to get themselves some momentum. New Mexico State will be forced to punt. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He gets a block. He'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. You guys will see what Jacksonville State can get going on over. They've got nothing done so far, and they already find themselves in a three-possession hole, Jesse. Yeah, and as a head coach, you're wondering, what didn't I say? What didn't I do to get my team ready to go? Because we look like we're sleepwalking at this point, David. Yeah, nothing went well in the first quarter. You just say refresh. Like, let's try to find a way now, chip into this lead, try to make it somewhat manageable when you get to the half. They go to the ground. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chain. And here we go. If you're an offense, you got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And you know, coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. you got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw which can help them get that. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Grabbed over the middle, it's Brown. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. 
These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. Plows ahead for a pickup of one to the 32. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job on the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking to pass. It's Turner. He's got the tight end. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Well, another catch by the big fella. And, hey, this defense now in the second level, they've got to understand that they're going to see some play action. They can't keep biting on the fake. It's not easy to do. You've got to be aware of the tight end and his release. As soon as you see him get upfield, right now you know it's passed. So don't even worry about the fake. Get your eyes focused and find the big fella to go make a tackle and make a play on the ball. And, boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Man, and you see those sticks, and you're like, dude, third and short. I just got to fall forward and get the first down, Palmer. But the defense comes up big and gets the stop. So on offense, don't overthink this one. Fourth and inches, just line up, something easy. You know you can execute in your sleep and go keep this drive going. Tackled after picking up the first down. Fourth and inches, just trusting your offensive line. They're able to get just enough movement at the point of attack to keep this drive going. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far, but starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. Finds his man, it's Brown. He's there to make the stop, but not before. He sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. Well, it's a nice job, too, of the quarterback after the play fake there, getting his eyes down the field. He had to get that to his tight end quickly, knowing he wasn't going to have a lot of space to run with after the catch. The Gamecocks trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. Wants to go up top. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. Those are hard for offensive linemen when they get beat and you're going, no, look out for your blind side. Watch out. But the great job rushing the quarterback, getting him on the ground, and getting the football out. A little extra bonus. Nice job by the defense getting nasty. The Aggies offense will have another go at it. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Wide receiver shows motion. Back to pass, it's Hogan. Fires one high and deep. And that's going to be incomplete, going for broke on second down, but third down's coming up. Well, the defender got his hand on that one, tipped it up in the air, and offense, man, they're lucky that one wasn't picked. So third and short from inside the 20. You convert here, and this drive takes on a different complexion. They try to pop a run on the draw. And the defense is swarming to keep him from getting to the first down. New Mexico State will be forced to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He'll pull it down. And he gets out of there and gets some yardage and gets down without taking any punishment. 
Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You can get the ball out. But when things break down and they get off schedule, you've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. They'll line up right at the 48-yard line on first and 10. Gets it out fast. Good job reading the defense by the quarterback on that RPO feed. He waited to see how the defense was going to play the run. He saw defenders bite up close to the line of scrimmage, and right away he knew that he had the slant throw right in behind him. And here comes the offense on second down. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. And the Gamecocks come to the line with a new set of downs. They go to the draw. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting him drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. From the gun, running back gets to give. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Well, they want to come out and try to get the run game established, but up front defensively, they made a play. They gave up nothing on that one. Got to find some breathing room if you're going to establish yourself on the ground, and there wasn't any that time. Yeah, Reese, I wonder now if this offense is maybe going to try to get to the perimeter of the field and see if they can use their speed to hurt this defense. They'll try to drive ahead on third and short. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know, the runner just has to have a little bit more patience. He bounced that thing outside a little too early, and as a result, lost yards. They'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit. And he'll need a little distance and to bend it just right. A 41-yarder from the left hash. Smashes it between the uprights. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The New Mexico State offense returns to the field. They've been the height of efficiency here in the first half, David, and you've got to think they're going to try to click it right down the field here. When you're looking at your playbook and it's worked so well in the first half, I'm going to continue to do what I've been doing, Palmer, because it's been all gas. Hawk, that's right. Strike while the iron's hot, too. Before this defense gets to going at halftime, it potentially makes some adjustments, show you some different looks in the second half. Whatever you've been doing, it's working. Keep it up. Quick completion on the out route. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. QB, excellent location on that throw. Out route against man coverage, you cannot miss. If you throw that behind, that might be a pick six. So nice job by the quarterback with his accuracy. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. Unloads it downfield. It's complete. A huge pickup. And he was on his way. Gets it all the way to the 38. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play. And I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. That kind of play will put a jolt into a drive. It's first and 10 from just inside the 40. Using the quick game. These guys are called matchup guys. They're not the biggest guys on the field, but they're going to win. Short, and they're going to catch the ball, and they're going to make yards after the catch. You can tell those are the type of guys in college football that are starting to get maximized and used a lot more than they were in the past. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. That completion leaves us with second and medium. 
through the air. It's Hogan. Quickly complete. Hit the afterburners, kid. And he slipped through the crowd, and he'll house it. Touchdown, New Mexico State. Number zero. When that receiver got free, it was all over. And it's so nice to have a receiver like this as a quarterback because you had my stats. I like those long touchdown passes where I just threw it really short, and he did the rest of the work. Lining up to tack the one more onto that on lead. The extra point. And the extra point gives him a 28-3 lead. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they cap it off with a 32-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff unit about to go to work. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Jacksonville State has it back, and the Gamecocks will go to work. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be concerned. If we're a little bit down, listen, I just think this is a point with the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here. We're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now at the end of the first half. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. And I like the play call, I like being aggressive on offense. Second inches, you still got a third down coming, but the defense, great job being ready for the pass. Wasn't fooled, got the sack, now set up a better third down situation for him. One snap coming before they head to the locker room. Looking downfield, it's Turner. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. They finally make the stop. That's going to make those halftime stats look a little bit nicer as we head to the break. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Jacksonville for an entertaining first half than you? Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that, let's head back to the guys at JSU Stadium. New Mexico State will kick it away to open this third quarter. On the move from inside is five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Guys, we'll see what Jacksonville State can get going on up. Got blown out in the first half, and now just desperate to find anything to generate momentum here in the third quarter. It just starts with one play, though. Just need one thing to go right for this offense to start to build that momentum, and then that becomes infectious for the defense, for special teams. Everything can change. It just takes one play. It really can, and it's so strange, and you can't quantify it, and I don't know how to describe it as a coach or as a player, but you got to make something happen, and it's got to start on this drive. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Goes to the option. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. No gain on the play. Third down coming up. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. Dropping back, it's Turner. Looking to the big tight end. 
He's got an open man. Plenty of room on that play, and they find their way to the 36. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Caught behind the line, it's Lewis. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. And that's kind of a lot of today's running game, right? Spit the ball out quick, get it to your playmakers in space, get positive yards. It's uh, instead of running the ball a couple yards up the middle, now you just spit it out wide. And a lot of times if you break a few tackles, it could be even bigger. Quarterback on the keeper. Just making a play, getting it to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down. And that was just an exceptional read and run by that quarterback. And it looks easy, but man, the practice hours that goes into this, putting the ball in the running back's belly, and him understanding, like, listen, I'm going to snatch this thing back from you, but you need to act like you're taking it every play. A lot of timing goes into that kind of play. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. And the defense at this point understands that the offense is going to have to try to throw the football, all right? They already got a lead, so they're now pinning their ears back and getting after this guy, trying to get him to the ground. Now on second down. He'll keep it himself. Only a couple there, and now staring at third and eight. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. You really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. Just outside the red zone at the 21, but it's third and long. To the air, it's Turner. Throws toward the end zone. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look. They're third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. It is perfect. After putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Aggies offense will have another go at it. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to throw. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. Looking to move it through the air. Got the quick pass. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Using him out of the slot, he has just been unstoppable. Man, I love putting dynamic athletes in the slot that I can move around, that I can put in motion, that I can, I can make him go in or out. I can put him off the ball so you can't get hands on him. And they've really featured this guy today. Leaves it with the back. Stopped at the 47 after a 10-yard gain. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. When he's got a head of steam, boy, he is hard to bring down. And the Aggies will snap it on first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Pressure in his face, and he lets it fly. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. 
Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. Looking to throw, it's Hogan. He lofts one down the sideline. Hits him in stride at the 10. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. And a big reason why this team has the lead in this game is because of plays like that. They know they've got firepower throwing the ball. They've got the dudes outside that can make things happen. You saw it in the first half, and you see it here again early in the third quarter. After that huge gain, now a chance to cash it in from just outside the five. They'll use the running game on first and goal. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. And down here near the goal line, you've got to be physical. And this guy's proven it today, Palmer. They've given it to him. He's put it in the end zone twice already. I'm going to keep featuring him. So you know the defense is going to be king him too, right? Because he's hurting them a little bit in this game already. They're going to be finding a way to try to get some penetration, anticipating this guy to touch it again. And he is stopped, not getting close to the end zone. Line of scrimmage still at the three. They come to give it another shot on third and goal from the three. From the gun, wants to pass. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. I personally love aggressive defense. I love it. Bringing the strong safety down, blitzing that sucker in there to get the quarterback. Boom. Get that guy on the ground. Nice aggressive play call by the defense. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to take the three. It's good. And they'll push that lead out a little further. That makes the score. New Mexico State, 31. Jacksonville State, 6. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Jacksonville State has it back, and the Gamecocks will go to work. They'll throw it on first down. Grabbed in the backfield. It's right. My old coach said to never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. On the run, it's Lewis. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. They couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that run play. The offense lines up at the 41 with a first and 10. They'll ride the hot hand. And you want to talk about gang tackling everybody on the defense. Run to the ball. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Try and play action. Throws to the wideout. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one a long one on third down from the 43. 
It'll be a draw. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. What offense. You've got to love the way your offensive line is playing in this game. They're getting tremendous movement up front. They're climbing in the second level and really giving these backs and ball carriers a lot of room to run all game long. Back to throw, it's Turner. Zings it complete to the right. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly, and that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Here comes the offense on second down. And off from the shotgun. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. The Gamecocks with the first and ten. They'll give it to him again. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Makes the grab. It's Spectre. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. Third down coming up. This third down play more than manageable from the 24. Can the defense stand tall? From the gun, wants to pass. It's incomplete, but here comes the flag, and I think it's going to be a first down. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. On the ground, it's Lewis. Pulled down after a gain of five. It's at the nine-yard line. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Give to the running back. He pushes his way down to the floor as they get closer and closer. And now a big third down coming up. Down multiple possessions. This is one, Palmer, I'm looking for six. I'm not trying to kick a field goal. I want to cut into this lead with a touchdown. No, you got to have it. And also, considering all that, this is four down territory, too. So you need to identify who are your best players on offense. Holds it in the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville State. I'm going to spread you sideline to sideline with all my speed, make you cover the whole field. Nice job by the offense. Go with a little spread look, taking advantage of the speed they had on the field and getting the big touchdown. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. They knocked through the extra point, but they still trail 31-13. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. So they got the score. The lead is still 18 as they prepare to kick off. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The New Mexico State offense returns to the field. Looking for room, it's Watkins. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. 
And that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. Off the play fake. Got his man quickly. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. A lot of times the QB's going to drop back and try to make a big play, try to make a big play. What's your safe option if nothing's there? Slip it to your running back. Let him catch it. Let him go get a first down for you. They've got it at the 36. It's a first and 10. The gift to the back. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Well, this defense obviously knows they have to be able to stop the run now in the second half if they're going to win this game. And you wonder if they were able to make some tweaks and some adjustments at halftime, maybe getting some more bodies close to the line of scrimmage to give themselves a chance to come back in this game. Dropping back, it's Hogan. Unloads to the wideout. It's complete! And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. This New Mexico State offense is pushing all the right buttons. Got it behind the line. It's David. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. Brought down near the four yard line. It's now second and goal. Now on second and goal. He's looking to throw. Makes the grab. Touchdown, Aggies. And the route is on. He has been surgical. Precision passes. Using the scaffold, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. And the defense has had absolutely no answer for it. Just, uh, he's been down their throats all game long, a step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. Guys, we'll see what Jacksonville State can get going on over. Last time they had it, they took it down the field for a touchdown. They can build some confidence that they could go back-to-back -back scoring drives here. Yeah, and remember, it's not uncommon for offenses to find themselves as the game goes on. They had some things not go their way early, but they found something last drive, David. Let's see if they can build on it. Yeah, you, you, you just pick and pick and pick until you find that place where you're like, okay, this is an advantage I have. They've clearly found that dude. They score here. We're in for a ball game. He'll do it himself. Just wanted to find a little space to run and ekes out some to get it up to the 21. How easy was that? I mean, when you got a quarterback that can run design runs like this and, and get you five-plus yards just and make it look that easy, God, it makes it really hard for the defenses to stop. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? They'll try to power their way ahead. And the Gamecocks get enough for the first down. Man, it's nice to have a guy on short yardage situations. You can turn and you can hand the ball to him. And you know he's not going to dance. You know he's going to be really physical, lower his shoulder. I don't care how many yards he gets. He just needs to get past that first down mark. The Gamecocks will snap it on first and 10. 
to the ground. He's got it again. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. Wants to throw. It's Turner. Finds a tight end. Well, you hear all the time that the tight end's the QB's best friend. You saw a perfect example of it on that last play, right? Second down, you need to pick up some positive yards to keep this third down manageable. Really nice job of executing that. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. One more quarter to go, and it looks as if we are ready to play. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. Looking to throw for it. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. They'll go with the running game on fourth down here. He is stopped short, and they'll turn it over on downs. Just a crushing blow at this point in the game. Gonna run it. It's Watkins. They bring him down, and he's gonna lose a yard on that one. And I think a lot of times when offenses run these counters, you're gonna fake one way, right? Pull guys the other direction. If you can get some penetration really quickly, get behind those pullers, you got a chance to get in the backfield just like right there and create a TFL. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. They'll give it to the back. Couldn't really get started there. Pick up a one to the 35. And the last thing they need is to squander this great field position facing a third and long. To throw, it's Hogan. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. Touchdown, Aggie! And the pummeling has started. Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns. And you know what? This is one of those stats days. You look back and you're like, that guy had 12 touchdowns on the year. Well, four or five of them might have been in this game. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the score comes on a 35-yard pass for six. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it out. It's right. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. This is a tight end that not only is going to play with his hand in the ground, but he can line up at... And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. And they take another look at the play, but the officials on the field were right, and the play will stand. On second down, he's looking downfield. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass, and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. Looking to throw, it's Turner. 
finds his man. And the Gamecocks have it with a first and ten. He's going to pass. Throws to the wideout. Got him downfield. And he's brought down after a huge completion. Let's go. We got some life. We, we made a big play. Something to build off of. We need a lot of points. And we need him quickly. Time's running out. We're trailing big in this ballgame. The Gamecocks are moving quickly down the field. Looking to go up top on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Hey, man, if you're going to force incompletions when the QB's thrown to the tight end, you better be physical. Nice job with the hit, forcing that incompletion. Quarterback by himself in the backfield. They want to just keep throwing it. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. you got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. you got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. They'll run the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Yeah, and I think if I'm a QB, I like the decision. I get it to my, my running back who's really good after the catch and really good with the ball in his hands, but the defense did the job. They got him on the ground. They gave up some yards, but they forced the fourth down. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. Quarterback gets the first down. And he gets enough to move the chains and then slides to a stop. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket, nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't, and he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. Throws toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. The play action fake. Makes the catch. It's Brown. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Yeah, and tight ends aren't just line up and block guys anymore. These guys are athletes. You line them up all over the field. And nowadays, you even start to feature them more and more in the passing game. From here, it would just be a 30-yard field goal try. Let's see how aggressive they're going to be to try to pick up that first down. The give to the tailback. And there were some collisions in there. The D finally stops him short of the marker. Offense facing fourth down. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. They'll try it on the ground. He's not going to make it, and what a big stop for this defense, and they might be able to put this thing away. To the ground with the back. Didn't find a lot of room. Let's give him two out to the 20. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple at second and eight. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. They'll run it from the gun. Just gets it to the 28, pick up of one. 
You know, every running back thinks about the 100-yard barrier every time they take the field. And this guy, I know he's got it in his mind. He might be the only one in the stadium right now that knows. He's got 97 yards rushing here in the fourth quarter. You know he is begging his coach just for one more carry to get that mark. Back to throw, it's Hogan. Unloads to the wideout. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy's had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. New Mexico State will be forced to punt. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. Jacksonville State has it back, and the Gamecocks will go to work. Quick strike complete. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late, and they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first down. you got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. Got some of the work done on first. Now let's see what they have on second down. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Cuber. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43-yard line. Well, these wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is field. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. A little screen to the running back. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. This quarterback obviously did a lot of film prep coming into this one. He has been picking this defense apart. With that last completion, guys, he's now got over 300 yards passing. And the Gamecocks have it with a first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the big fella. And he breaks into the open. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seventh. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. The Gamecocks have it with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. Offense trying to pay it off on second and goal. The run from the shotgun. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. And they've been able to get within two yards. Now will they try to throw it in for the score? Power ahead. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Third and goal, the offense still trying to run the football here. And how about the individual effort up front by this defender? Getting penetration, now setting up fourth down. A field goal does not top the list of most helpful things at this juncture, so they'll go for it on fourth down. Trying to pound it in. He was fighting and driving and pushing, but he has stopped short of the end zone on fourth and goal. He'll put it down at the two. The give to the back. Can't get him to the ground. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. Yeah, and that's a great job by this offense. And I'll tell you what, fourth quarter, you have the lead. That's exactly what you want to do. Lean on these guys, run the football, eat that clock. That kind of pick up on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. 
Snap it to the back. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. This offense all game long has been running really well, and I'm really impressed by how well they've recruited at the running back position. They've got some dynamic players coming into the game at different points, spelling each other, keeping each other fresh, and they're hurting this defense. They're backed up just a little, first and 10 from their own 19. They'll run it. Finds a little bit of space, gets three to the 22. Brings up second down. After the three yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll try the run. Keeps the legs moving. Tripped up at the 25 after picking up four. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it that? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. So they're facing third and short from the 25. Back to pass. It's Hogan. Swings it out to the flat. There to make the stop, but he is a weapon out of the backfield in the short passing game, and they've got a foul. They showed great trust in their quarterback right there, and why not? He's had an outstanding game. An outstanding game has taken care of the football. Now late in the game, you got the lead. That first down now tells me now it's time to start running the football, run the clock, get out of here with the dunk. They'll run it to keep the clock moving. Stopped after a pickup of four. Good run to get it out to the 34. Brought down at the 34. Second down coming up. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Leaves it with the running back. Stuffed, almost in his track, but strong enough to pick up one to the 35. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. From the gun, wants to pass. Grab near the marker, it's David. To the 43-yard line and a first down for this offense. Well, this guy's been a go-to guy for this offense all game long. We've seen that, and here on a critical third down late in the game with the lead, guess who shows up with another big one? That guy. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. New Mexico State to the line after picking up the first down. Now on the counter. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll put the tight end in motion. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. And I'm a fan of this, man. Run the football, eat the clock. We got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, man. Like, just... Balance, rhythm, timing, play calling, everything is work. That's why they built this lead. They've had a great day today. On third and short, they keep it on the ground here. Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. Big reason why his team has the lead right now late is because of his performance running the football. Well over 100 yards in this game. They knew that they were going to have to really put a lot of pressure on him. He'd have to shoulder the load, and he has delivered for his offense all game long. Running back searching for a hole. Just feeding his pads to the defense as he gets it to the 36. And there's nothing more frustrating than when you get late in the game and you know they're running the football and you don't stop them. It's been that kind of day for this defense. They haven't played well. They're going to have to go to the well. They're going to have to figure some things out. Practice this week, I can promise you, will not be a lot of fun with these coaches. 
right back to it. And after the short run, the clock hits zero, and we are all wrapped up here.